In this video, we're going to look at uh, TK interface in Python and what TK interface is, is going to allow us to do some GUI stuff, graphical user interface items like buttons, text box. Um, we can also do some graphics in Python. So the way we're going to start this is we need to import the TK interface and the way we do that is import tk i n t e r as and we're going to name this tk we're going to use this uh, tk name throughout our little program here so we're going to start off by creating a little box for us to work in so we'll call this frame it'll be our frame equals tk and this came from this name here and dot capital T lowercase k and we've got that frame established there now we're gonna call our canvas that we're gonna work in canvas just so we don't get confused and that's gonna be calling the TK canvas and frame we need a set of width and let's set that to 400 and a height to let's actually go 400 on that as well so we get a nice square and we need to give it a title so the title of our frame is going to be Let's call it uh, TK Enter Test. And that should be all, be all we need for this canvas. So we're going to run that. Okay, in order to see this, sometimes when you run this in Replit, it will pop up and do a dual window here. If that doesn't work, you have to go up to this little plus and we want to see the output. So we're going to click on output. And this is our box that we just made here. And so now let's start with doing some graphics. So the way we're going to do our graphics is we'll call our canvas that's our variable here and we're gonna say canvas dot create line and then we'll give our line some stop start coordinates and we need to add one more thing down here at the bottom we're going to add canvas pack. That's what's going to be allow us to display all of these things that we're going to do to the canvas here. And we can see we have our line that goes from corner to corner, starts from 0, 0, and goes to 400, 400. Um, let's try something else here. Let's do a rectangle. And we start all of those by create and then whatever we want to we want to draw. So in this case, rectangle. And we'll give it some stop start coordinates as well. we can do the same thing. I'm just going to copy this and change our code here. So copy our rectangle and this time let's do an oval. Now the oval we have a few other things we can add with our variables. 
So we've got an oval here, but we can also, inside our oval, let's fill it. So we're going to add another constraint. We're going to fill that with yellow. And let's do one more. Let's do a, let's try a polygon. Now a polygon, we're going to have to have a lot more constraints to define where it's at, but we're going to change our color so we can see it. And let's do, I don't know, 300 and oh, I forgot to change the oval to polygon. And that should work. There we go. So you can probably play around with those. There's a lot of things you can do graphic-wise with this. But let's get into the input. I'm going to define a function. So if you remember back, we define a function by DEF or define. And we're going to call this print input. And we need to get an input text box. So let's call that INP. And we need to get, and I'll explain this later, but that essentially gets what's in the text box there. And uh, we need to put a label so that we can see what we inputted. So we'll call it LBL fig and we're going to add some hard co a hard coded message in there and then we're going to right after input from user so we hard coded input from user and right after that we're going to put whatever is in our text box so whatever we're going to create a text box up here um, we're going to have a button and when we click that button we're going to take whatever was in that text box and we're going to put it in the, this label here. Um, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do with this function. So now let's set up our put text and TK text and we're going to set up our frame for our text box here. Uh, we're going to set it as height 1 and width. Let's try 20. And we need to pack this so it'll show. That should get us our text box. So you can see our text box showed up right here. So now we need to create a button. And we'll put the button right below it. We'll call it print button. TK button. And we need to set up our button. Be in our frame text is going to be, uh, we'll just call it print. That's what it's going to show on the button itself. And then this command is going to be print input. And that's calling our function that we named right here 
and we also need to pack our button so when we run that we should get a button right here and the last thing we need to do is set up our label which we put in here in our function that we haven't called yet um, so we're going to set that label up so LBL is what we called it TK and this is a label and again we're going to say frame and then we don't want anything in our label right now because we want it to be invisible until we actually print something there and then we need to pack that out and we need to run that and so now when we test this out we'll say hello hit our button and you can see that our label was hard-coded input from user and then it also added whatever we put in this text box and you should be able to go back in there and change that hit the button and it will change the label down here so I hope you find that useful. There's a lot of things you can do with TK interface. Uh, we've just touched the surface. If you go to the Python documentation uh, website, you can see everything that you can do with this. Um, and it's well worth your time to go through and explore all of the things that you can do with this to make your programs more interactive for your users.